ready. Welcome. So, LG, I just put on some powder for him. He just now he looked like a light bulb shining. So I'm going to put some comb his hair. Hi guys, my name is Esti. And my name is Lars Gunnar. Lars Gunnar. And today we are going to talk about sing well, the law, uh, rather what not to do in Singapore. And why is Singapore uh, so-called a fine city? So I always feel like Singapore is a fine city because um, we have so many wonderfuls. And I think that is Sweden in lack. So today is the debate time where I feel like I must magnify the law here in Singapore. And hopefully Sweden listen to our law and say, hey, maybe there is something <laughs> that we can work about. So actually, I got this uh, idea from this T-shirt, which LG bought, right? LG, you bought this T-shirt. I think so, yeah. In the Singapore. So this is how it looks like, if you guys haven't seen this before. So the first law uh, for me, I think that hopefully this live streaming is going to be really short. So, But if you guys have any question, <laughs> Please stay until the end and then ask us some questions. Write it down so we know, all right? So the first law, what I would like to talk about is the first one here, which is no purchase allowed be below 18 years old, which means you cannot buy cigarette or alcohol, which is reasonable. And I think Sweden... The same have... is the same. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to buy out alcohol and uh, nicotine to people under 18 mm. <clears throat> and uh, you can buy alcohol in Sweden when you are 20 years old mm. on special boutiques but if you go to a pub mm. then you need to be only 18 to mm. drink yeah and the thing is in Sweden uh, they always the there are adults that buy alcohol for the children. No. That's what I heard. Yeah, it is true. Even the advertisement they show, you know. Mm. Oh, they, the alcohol. Uh, the no. Yeah, they pay. The youngster <laughs> pay the older one to yeah. go and buy. Yeah. yeah. But, That's very bad. But uh, that uh, probably if you go to anywhere else in the world, it's the same. You think so? Yes, but it's not allowed. Yeah, you but get they still fine do and, it. Yeah, and uh, even I think you can even go to jail if if it is in a big mm. business. So mm. yeah, you can go to jail if you do try to smuggle alcohol yeah. to, and cigarettes. A lot of Swedish people smuggle uh, cigarette from Denmark, Germany to here mm. by car. You know. Because they don't check at the custom. They see you, they say, okay, go. And then that's why a lot... Not, not everyone. Yeah, but they look at me. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the last time when we were there, was like, <laughs> they look at us, they didn't even check our passport. So they said, just go, 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 go. Don't yeah. waste our time. So the second one I'm going to check is this one. Chewing gum. Chewing gum. gum. We eat chewing gum in Sweden. Yes. But not so much. Not so much, yeah. Mm. That's, that's right. Not Do you so know much. why we stop chewing gum in Singapore? Because they spit it on the ground. Yeah, as that's why. That's why the government take it really seriously. And I think that rule should apply in Sweden. That's... that's uh, I think so. Uh, you're not allowed to spit on the ground. Mm. That's against the law. Yeah. But, but you uh, spit all the time. <laughs> yeah, spit the gum on the floor. <laughs> okay, the, we talk about street. spitting later, okay? LG, he agree with this, right? Yes, so one, boom, boom, one point for Singapore, zero for Sweden. <laughs> uh, in what term? Mm. It's not allowed in Sweden to no. spit on the... No, I, I mean for chewing gum. Yeah, you, chewing you, gum. You would agree that Sweden yeah, but... should have a control over yeah. eating chewing gum, yeah. right? But you can chew gum in Singapore. Yeah, but the you, people don't respect. You can. They just spit it on the floor. You can, be because I heard it on the YouTube. 
Yeah. But yeah, you, you are allowed, but that is a special a kind special gum, nicotine mm. yeah. gum. But I feel like it's still a, a bad thing in Sweden. Yeah. All right, we're coming back here. So now the third one we're going to talk about is picking flowers. We're not allowed to pick flowers in the <clears throat> park or in a public place in it, Sweden. It's the same in Sweden. In the park, you can't pick, right? But in the no, forest... No, you can't pick in the park. No, you can't. No. Of course, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> but anywhere else. But not on private ground. You can pick flowers. Yeah? Yeah. But I pick... Uh, you guys know I'm a forager, so I pick in the forest like hell. <laughs> yeah, no, but... Don't say that's, that word. That's a bad word. Okay? Don't say yeah, that. But, um, you can, but that's uh, that's okay. Picking in the woods. Yeah. Picking in the uh, big, uh, what do you say? Engar is in English. What's that? Engar is like big, big open big... fields yeah. in the forest. It's okay to pick. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sweden, in forest, you can pick as much as you want. Nobody can. One have. point for Sweden. Yeah, one point for Sweden, <laughs> yeah? One point for Sweden. And then, you know, urinating in the leaf, in the public places. Not, that's not allowed to pee in the city. Yeah. That's not allowed. And I see a lot of people do that. <clears throat> in the city. Yeah. Not Especially allowed. at night, after the pub. S Saturday hour. night. Yeah. Because yeah, you know man. why the toilet are all closed. So this guy, they have nowhere to go, right? So... They pee, of course. You, you cannot use a rubber band. I or... know you You know what? Even the girls do that. <laughs> really? How yeah. Did they... yeah, I've seen once in, in Sweden. Uh, we went to a pub many, many years ago. I saw the girl just leave her skirt and <laughs> do a business. <laughs> which I feel is really, really disgusting. Yeah. And it, it's... Oh. Uh, in Sweden, it's it's forbidden too, and and uh, it, that's because it, it's not nice mm. waking up in the morning, going out, and you feel the the air, the air from mm. yesterday. No, by, by the way, good. we are not drinking coffee. This is a coffee time, but we're drinking lemon water. Yeah. Mm. We just had our coffee around yeah. one hour ago. Yeah. So the next one, no littering. Oh, no littering. Yeah. That's also forbidden in Sweden. But people still do that. And what about it? I mm. looked in the uh, flower places and there was littering. Yeah. In, in Sweden? In Singapore. Oh, in Singapore? Yeah. Oh, oh. One okay. point to Sweden. No, no, no. There's no <laughs> point. Because in Singapore, I know that there are a lot of CCTV all over yeah. every corner. All right. So people there, they dare not commit this crime because if they get caught, they are very difficult to get out of it. Because when the, as a tourist, if you enter Singapore, you have to scan your thumbnail, right? So when you scan the thumbnail, the, sing, the police can get you, you know? Yeah. So don't try to do that, okay? When you go to a country, respect the, the country. Respect the, the, the laws of the country. Likewise, yes. like Sweden yeah. also, because we have a lot of, when I go to the forest and pick things, sometimes I see like bottles, can, plastic. Mm. This is really bad. Yeah, and what about good. if those in the countryside where the farmer have cow, what do you think? The cow eat that plastic bag or the tin and then the cow got killed. Yeah. That's the, a lot and, of and, cases. And uh, it's also uh, that when you go to the forest, you, you have with you uh, coffee or uh, bottle cans with mm. liquid. Yeah. And you drink it up, mm. then it's much easier mm. to bring it back because it's lighter. Yeah. So and, I don't know why. And, the, and <laughs> then they have this wonderful fireplace. You know, if you have paper cup, you just throw that paper cup in the fire. And let it burn up, yeah. you know? That is also one way. So I think this way, I think we win one point. Because Sweden is not uh, uh, controlling this at yeah, all. Yeah, they are. No? Yeah. You look you, at a forest. You can, yeah, in the forest. Yeah, look but, at a forest. But um, we, we, we can uh, go to Singapore, go out in the forest. And I think we, can, we, we get half look, a point. Look, uh, half a point. Mm. One point half, five. Half, yeah. Sweden one and Singapore one point five. Okay, agree or not? Don't agree. Let me yeah. know in the comment. Okay, but I decide. Mm, the point. 
<laughs> no vandalizing. That's also forbidden in Sweden. Yeah. But still people do that. Yes, still people do that, mm. of course. In Singapore, we don't do that. Uh, oh, oh. No, they are really strict oh, because yeah. you get caning. You see how much we get I for this. By the way, littering is $1,000 fine. But if you vandalize, you get jail and you get cane. How serious it is, it depending on how much you vandalize. Mm -hmm. If you spray paint on building, that is a serious problem. But I think we should also think that, okay, some people, they are just just pure evil. They could scratch other people's car. Yeah. That is the worst, I find. They should be more... Uh, their their punishment should be more than those people who you know trying to make no, no, a no, beautiful no. place to yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but uh, for the man who sprays, it's beautiful. Mm. But not always the 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 man who owns the pro property think it's fine. Yeah. Or nice. So I I don't agree about that. It should be more punished for scratching a car because that can be not so expensive to repair, but in a house, you have maybe to have uh, to paint the whole house. Mm. That costs money. So yeah. I don't, I, I think uh, it should be the same. So in S Singapore, we jail and get, and get cane. In Sweden, you get, uh, you can get uh, jail, but then it has to be very, very, very serious. serious. But mm. normally you get fine for mm. it. That's why they don't give a damn, you know? Oh. That's why they don't care. Because you can see all over in the neighborhood, you know, some people, they... It's a work of art. But some people, they are like spraying all kinds of yeah. uh, symbol. I do not know, is it a... Uh, Symbols and uh, just... Uh, pack? Destroying, I think, mm. many. But, yeah. Okay. So I think in this case... Where jail and cane is concerned, I think we should deserve a point. And Sweden is not so linear. And when it comes to jail, you know, rapist, murderer, they only sit, they don't get, they never get bad death penalty here in Sweden. No. So for us, I think we are hard in our rule, but I think it's also good. Then people are more disciplined and more. You know, they have to consider before they commit a crime. So I think we should get one point. Okay. Okay. So no feeding of a bird. A fine is... The fine for no feeding bird is 1,000 Singapore dollar. No. In Sweden. No, no. You're wrong. What? The fine is for feeding. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fine is for feeding. I, I read here no feeding. So the fine is for feeding. Yeah. So if you feed the bird... Uh, in Singapore, we like to do that in the olden day. And then the g bird get problem, sick. And then they shit. And then the human being will get the virus. So that's why the Singapore government take this really, really seriously. Yeah. What about in Sweden? Uh, it's not forbidden, I think. Mm. No. So what do you will give... Things like but they're not supposed to eat, and then the bird gets sick. It's not so common that, that uh, people feed uh, the birds. In, uh, yeah, a bit common in in, in the city, mm. but in the parks, when mm. you have the the, the birds, mm. it's rather common. Yeah, but that's in that area. Mm. And uh, but I think also I I notice Swedish people when they give the bird something, they always give those hard bread or soft bread. They don't give like chewing gum or no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> they are they are feeding the birds yeah they are feeding the bird with <laughs> food that you know it's not harmful I think but don't give the bird I I've seen one time I ever caught one girl in the pub or in the park that they feed this old bread that are already molded yeah that's not good so that's not so no, good yeah no but I think in Singapore they take it really seriously yeah. and I think we should get one point right. Ah. Yeah, ah. we we are more strict. You know, ah. you get fine. Ah. So I think you guys decide how many points should we get. I should. I think we deserve another point. Ah. 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 One thousand. All right, now. Carry, carry the heroin. All right. No, 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 no. That's forbidden in both yeah. countries. Yeah.
and it's it's uh, I don't know how uh, strict it is in in Singapore uh, in Sweden when you get caught for heroin if you take it in that's rather strict but uh, Singapore there's death penalty in in Singapore. Is 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 death penalty? It depending on how much you carry. If you carry yeah. more than two hundred twenty uh, gram, and then you know maybe you sit in a jail for how long? I don't know. Uh, but if it's more than twenty gram, I think it is either death penalty or a very serious punishment. Yeah, that's oh. uh, in Sweden. It should be a bit harder, mm. I think. Yeah. In that this. Uh, 20 grams or less they mm. consider as personal use then mm. then it's a bit milder mm. but if you come with a half a kilo then oh. <laughs> yeah, you, then you are for sure you are in the jail <laughs> <How do you laughs> <Probably. know? clears throat> that's no question the thing i personally find after living here i find that the law is very linear it has both good and bad effects the good thing is that I, I think that you're giving people a second chance, which is good, uh, depending on what kind of crime that you committed. But I think in terms of rapists and murder and all those, and then they don't, I think they sit in a jail where they have access to maybe internet or maybe, uh, you know, like a room yeah. with mm -hmm. beds, not like those you saw on the television, dark cold it's not that case so i don't think so in that situation people would take that seriously i, uh, mean, I uh, feel in, in sweden the crimes you get jailed for is meant to be that you will get learned to not do the the same thing but mm. uh, in reality it's not like that mm. like, because you it's not uh, doing it very well. Mm. So yeah. give, <clears throat> give them punishment. Yeah. Then after punishment, you can have a, 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 a time when you will be indoctrinated, <laughs> if you can say that. So, and, and, and learn them and tell them what it will be if you do it next time. Mm. And I, I think... Uh, Jail in Sweden should be the second time should be a bit harder if it's the same. So you type agree that Singapore should deserve a point, right? Oh, mm. okay, ah, you see that? Okay, now no spitting. This is the very serious LG's problem. LG when he go out, he spit on the floor, and then I always tell him, I say, don't spit. If you spit in Singapore, you get fined. But here in Sweden, can you do that? Uh, you can. Spit. Bit, but uh, you probably you spit the big yeah okay, it's okay now. you spit the big uh, uh, snooze yeah but you then spit it's... it on the ground then then <coughs> it's, then it's littering so you you know what is snooze right it's those tobacco they put uh, here in the mm. upper teeth like here. yeah and then you know the tobacco will take uh, the nicotine. The yeah, it goes and, and then they throw out on the floor, which I feel is so that, disgusting. That, that's, that's disgusting. And also, that's the same with spitting because especially now with these pen, I, I cannot say that word, but you guys know what I mean. If you spit, if you are already infected, if, if you're sick, you can yeah. spread to other people. Yeah. So I think in Singapore we have this law and the fine is 1000 Singapore dollars and I think we deserve a point. I think that's right over overacting. No it's not overreacting. Yeah, this, that, that's previously 70, yes. 70, 7, 7, Swedish crowns. Yeah previously uh, yes but not now anymore because of this p hard time this they have to be taken really seriously, mm. I find. Mm -hmm. And we deserve a point. I think mm. so. So overall, we already have five and a half point out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Five and a half point, Singapore doing so well. <laughs> exactly. I mean, all right, now is your argument. Why why you don't agree? Well, I think I, I, I haven't think, disagree. You haven't no. disagree? 
I think we are. And then this morning, me and LG, when we were having breakfast, and then we saw this video, they talk about the new rules in Singapore, no singing. You cannot yeah, yeah, sing. Yeah. You cannot sing in the public place. If you go with the this one and and, and listen to the music, if you sing, you can get fined. That I don't understand. Why? <laughs> you, you are disturbing <sighs> other people. I know in Sweden, people are like very conscious about their private space and all that. You know, maybe that might work. In, but in Sweden, nobody sing. You know, but in Singapore, if you were to sing in a public place like MRT or the lift or in a bus. You get fined for that. Mm. And I think it's so strange because, I don't know, I just felt like... Yeah, people... You probably will not get fined. Mm. If there are 10 people and you sing, mm. so annoying. that can be a bit a bit annoying. If there, <laughs> if there are 100 people and 10 things, mm. then it probably will be annoying. Mm. So that's uh, probably why they have this law because <laughs> in, in Singapore, compared to Sweden, it's so much more people out mm. in MRT, for for example, mm. than in Sweden. So it would be uh, that could be a problem mm. if uh, half the people mm. are going singing. Yeah, and I can imagine if we, if we, someone, if I were to be singing outside in the public in Sweden, I would probably end up in mental hospital. <laughs> 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 Oh, this one, both we pee. <laughs> has yeah. to be something wrong with her. And can you remember what else was forbidden? It oh. was the singing, and then you are not allowed to uh, do something else, like yeah. a performance or something. Not allowed to beg in Singapore. To? Uh, begging for ah. money. Yeah. You're not allowed to beg for money yeah. in Singapore. That, that's... Uh... That's a little bit of problem here in Sweden. Yeah. A little bit, not so much, but uh, as long as people, uh, I think, uh, as long as people can accept uh, that you just sit there mm. and and and, um, and doing nothing and not provoke people, then then okay maybe. But I, <laughs> we have here in Sweden, we have the, those who who. Uh, begging and and they're playing with guitars and playing with other instruments and they can't sing and they can't play. <laughs> That's the worst thing. If they just dang, sit there, dang, dang, and then maybe. You want money. <laughs> no. So yeah, I think the law is uh, in Sweden maybe a little bit hard, but I think it's for the good. I think some of the law. Is very useful for Sweden, especially littering, especially you know the drug thing, especially yeah, the, the spitting the, thing now. The drug thing is is almost the same, I think, it, 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 in terms of law, except right. for that you have death. So. And do you know that if you cannot pay the fine in Singapore? One hundred, uh, one thousand Singapore dollar is quite a lot of money. Yeah. And if you don't want to pay the fine, you know what they do. You know what they do in Singapore. No, the same They work. they put them into this really nice vest, which is luminous in color, with the word correction something. Okay. And then they put you into a place where there's a lot of people there to embarrass you. You have to sweep the floor. If you litter on the floor, that's what I heard. I heard. I. I. I think the rule might change, but that was what happened in the past. Okay. So now, we are almost done. I think Singapore won, right? Okay. Singapore won. <laughs> we have no choice. Okay. What I was thinking about saying is that that in our next video, I've been doing a lot of recording lately. Uh, I think we. LG bought a tractor. You have to tell people about the tractor. The tractor? Yeah. It's a China tractor. It's a China tractor. Yeah. So he, he bought it from a guy. Yeah. He just recently know. So I've been filming a lot of the clips and then I'm going to put everything together. Uh, this is why I personally feel Sweden, uh, a man having a tractor is like 
uh, the biggest dream. <laughs> right? One of big dreams. <laughs> One of the biggest dreams. So I'm really excited to create this video. Then we'll see. You know, like a, he's like a, when I look at him with the tractor when he was driving, uh, it came today. So he's like a happy boy. <laughs> <laughs> to the garden and then oh let me do this let me do that mm. <clears throat> but you're really happy isn't it yeah mm, that's good mm. and then i'm going to be doing christmas lg has been helping out with the christmas decoration today so i'm going to film some part <laughs> <laughs> of his version of christmas decoration <clears throat> and then i'm going to hmm, maybe compare mine <laughs> So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment, okay? So that's all for this live streaming and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, I'll give you... Edgy is... Is that live? Yeah, it's live. Edgy is having some pain on the shoulder. Yeah, in my shoulder, yes. So he cannot say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Bye-bye.